updates on what we've been working on, uh, what we have upcoming. Um, I'll also post this text in the chat uh, once I'm done so that people who are international can uh, copy that over and translate it. So some things we've been working on, uh, we've been working on a lot of backend and infrastructure changes uh, to upgrade the marketplace. And we should be deploying that very, very soon in the next coming days. We had an outage that caused ANS to stop appearing in the marketplace, but it got fixed after a few hours um, and seems to be working just fine now. So done for the infrastructure updates, that'll clear the way for a lot of new features and UI updates that we have uh, upcoming. So for those new things that are upcoming, we have UI updates where we're planning on some updates to our UI that'll make it much better to view products and check out on the marketplace when you're looking at a smaller screen. So for, for example, um, it could be something on like a tablet or a phone, or you could be looking at the marketplace in the viewer and your floater, when you move it to a smaller size, will now display a whole lot better. So it'll work for a bunch of different breakpoints where we'll be able to view products better and you'll have a better checkout experience. Uh, in terms of feature re re uh, updates, we have uh, updates to search coming soon. So we are planning updates to marketplace search based on community feedback. I, I promise it is coming. Uh, you'll have to be patient for details. Uh, but with that being said, there will be updates that come faster than others. Uh, and I mean specifically like information coming out. Um, OK, so I'm going to go ahead and post that in chat. OK. So now that I've gone over our uh, updates and what we're what's coming down the pipeline, uh, I'm open to any questions anybody has on what I just talked about, or if you had something else you'd like to ask me. Uh, hi. I've got something I'd like to ask you to talk, if that's all right. Hold on a second. got to turn my volume up. I can't quite hear you. Yeah, it might be making it quiet. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's like, um, I usually use Firestorm, but because I've been um, developing with PBR, I've been using the second line viewer. And basically, I'm finding the whole experience of search and that user interface to be very um, kind of a bit balked, is the word I'm, I suppose. Like, for example, every time I open it, I have to accept cookies. And then to like, if I wanted to search for a, an avatar, there's all these radial buttons that I have to uncheck, and it just seems to be a bit counterintuitive. The back, the the, the, the um, it seems to be about back back to front, and and the issue with the cookies as well. Having to accept cookies every time, I, I don't know what, what the problem is there. So you're using uh, which, which search are you using? I couldn't quite hear you. Uh, the second life search in the um the second life viewer. Okay, and you said um, this was after PBR update. Um, well, I, I don't know because I used to use Firestorm, but I've been exclusively using the Second Life Viewer and coming from uh -huh. Firestorm to the Second Life Viewer, the viewer, the, the search experience is, is, is broken as far as I'm concerned. It's, 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 it's broken. Like, um, you get all this useless information if you, if you do search and then you've got, like, it's impossible to find an avatar, for example. Um, and then every time I use it, I have to accept cookies. Every single time. I hadn't heard the um, having to re-accept cookies on search, so I really appreciate that feedback. Uh, we'll definitely look into that. It, it could be a geolocation thing, uh, but that's kind of an annoying experience, I agree. And um, we're not sure when we're yeah, going to be able to... Sure Sorry, my bad. And uh, we've been talking internally about some things that would make that search a little bit more user-friendly, like uh, splitting out the different kinds of search even more, uh, speaking of the different radio buttons that you're talking about. That would be great, like, to have across the top, like, some of the or something. Um, 
Yeah. That's my only gripe. <laughs> Thank you very much for addressing it. Appreciate it. Uh, it would also be helpful if you gave me um, an example search that you've done that has caused you a lot of problems so that I can try reprogramming it too. Well, the, uh, the most weird one is just simply searching for an avatar. If you put in an exact avatar name, from my experience, nine times out of ten, the, the name just doesn't come up. It's, it's lost and then I'm asked to sort by a certain way. It's, if you've got an exact search term, surely uh, first name plus last name, the data name should be exactly at the top. Okay, so I think what you said is you're, you're trying to search a certain specific name of a person. Um, could you try typing, typing in chat because you're breaking up a lot? I have a random question. Why is it that revenue distribution section in Marketplace doesn't actually recognize the word resident? Dun dun. <laughs> yeah, when you're doing the splits, you can't actually write split to sassy resident, you can just write sassy. But in vendor systems, you have to put in the resident. You can't just write the first name. So, and since it is, and when you gift from Marketplace, you have to put in the resident. You can't just write sassy. So it seems that something is weird there. Yeah, we've definitely been inconsistent with where we've made resident a magic word and where we haven't. And it would be great if we could get more consistent about that across all of the properties. Um, it, it, Cause it makes me really nervous to just put a first name because of display names. So especially with something like your money, I don't give, and, and I know I have a friend that has a, a 
like a fairly common sort of name as a as a resident name and she gets gifted things all the time because people are trying to send to display name people so resident is important in all all the places i think i think that's excellent feedback and i can take that back to the various teams Thanks uh, for the link. I'll take a look at that search request. Uh, is that because you don't want to empty your cart? I have a question for the group at large. How many of you keep something in your cart, multiple items in your cart, for long periods of time without checking out? Do you think you'd still do that if we had a more robust wish list system? Maybe we need more carts. How many here have more than five items of their cart? Do on Amazon too, so it's not just a second life thing? I mean, I do it on Amazon. Only a place I've ever done it, but it was more to do with during COVID was Ikea because I did a big list and then all their rules on delivery changed. So it just sort of sat there, but um, yeah, maybe more cards. <laughs> So what I'm hearing, though, is a buy now um, for items and letting you keep everything else in your cart as is. Right, but doesn't the buy now currently make you buy everything? No, it doesn't. So the buy now works as we want it to, right? No, buy now is horrible. Buy now needs to be eradicated. It needs to be stripped, taken out the back and flogged. Well, buy now is horrible for customer service because the amount of people that mistakenly use it to gift and then end up with the item in their, their own inventory is almost a six to one, um, one ratio or something, six out of 10 times customer service is that. I see. I that too. <laughs> So the buy now that you have a problem with and, and want to deal with violently and punish it uh, is specifically because people intend to use buy now for gifts, but instead get it for themselves, correct? Right. They, they've they gone through the process of setting up the gift and then they mm -hmm. don't understand the need to go up to the top to the, I did a blog post on this. Got it. <laughs> they don't realize that they need to go up to the actual literal cart. They think that once they've been put the name that they then press buy now and it, and it functions for them. Got it. Because buy now jumps straight over. Um, then they end up with it in their inventory and, and they don't know what happened. Um, 
and, and depending it. on the store and how the store will deal with understanding what happened, they can end up out of pocket because if it's not a double purchase, the store could just think that they're up to no good. So it's just an unnecessary thing that causes distress for no reason, just because of misunderstanding. So for gifting, um, you can't buy now for gifts. You can only add it to your cart. Correct. So Correct. if you want to actually buy something as a gift for someone and you're afraid of emptying your cart, you're kind of stuck. Y yeah, that could work too. Um, add gifts now. That could work. It's just that they think that because they've done the, the and I don't mean respect disrespect by saying they think, but they think that because they've um, put in the right information, they've done everything right until that point of not knowing that that shopping cart, which is in a co completely different area of the screen, is the next step. So yeah, adding a, a, a gift now option, maybe that it automatically comes up when you've actually filled something into the gift parameters. Yep, I, I can visualize that functioning the same way as by now, but only being available when you started doing gifting. Right, like that it would override, it, yeah, like that the button would change to a gift mm -hmm. now button. Cool, we can do that. Why can't we have like buy one get one free or something like that? Like multipliers on multiple baskets. I don't know if we can do buy one get one free because we don't own the content, but we have talked and it is on our roadmap somewhere when we're able to get to it to have uh, store sales and coupons that would be controlled by the merchants. That would be great. And sort of like, like coupons you could give to bloggers, like how you get like an Amazon kickback kind of deal. Yeah, I kind of love the idea of having somebody on Flickr with a, an outfit that they picked up on the marketplace and a whole bunch of affiliate links to uh, get all of the same pieces that they're wearing. Um, but we haven't gotten not, that. Not Flickr. Yeah slicker because you're going to make your own eventually because that's the dream yeah you we guys need you to bring in instead like of paying flicker yeah bring bring us a whole bunch more residents so that i can hire more developers to make that happen oh if you build it they will come <laughs> i walk down the street every day with a sandwich board saying join second life by cube republic plants I did customer service once on, on my utilities for my phone um, thing. And once he was done helping with my phone, I spoke to him for another half an hour of the joys of Second Life. So the, the link one you mentioned earlier, the, that would basically be, I can give this to someone who's like a blogger or has like an, it's like an influencer or something and they can advertise or talk about it. And when someone clicks that link and buys something, the person who had that link gets a piece of that sale. Is that basically what you're thinking? Yeah, like a split. Like an affiliate split, but without an affiliate vendor system. Ah, okay. So it would, it would be based on, on what code you input to for it to choose who it would actually pay out to that would be quite complicated but yeah it would be good but i there's so many other features for sales and and discounts and things that need to be implemented especially the idea of just clicking a button and being able to put your whole store on sale would be amazing because having to manually do that now means that a lot of stores don't put their marketplace on sale when their store goes on sale um, and people are still buying content at full price not knowing that the store is on sale.
looks like there might be space, Raven Callisto. I just wanted to comment that my second life is an example of what happens when Lyndon tries to run its own social network. Last time I went to have a look at it, it was full of porn, and I was, ah, what? So are all the other social medias from Second Life users that decide to display porn, but, but I was greatly surprised that that somehow wasn't moderated. Yeah. Um, my question was, is there any chance that there might be an implication on, say, for instance, I go to the marketplace and I search for, I say I want a sweater, I think that's what they call it in America, um, and I've searched for a certain body type. Um, is there any possibility that there might be something coming where when you search for something, it may show similar items, like maybe based on the words like Lara X or jumpers or something where you may get some stuff at the bottom that could show you some other alternatives because that would just be so nice to see other products except you know when you're looking yeah um oh okay. so right now uh you might also like is totally driven by merchants um and what they click but i am interested in showing things like customers who bought this also bought or, uh, you know, based on our algorithms, this might be similar to what you're looking for. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, they're definitely really reasonable machine learning kinds of things that uh, would potentially be doable. They are not currently on our roadmap, but they are things that we are considering. What would be yeah, really helpful? At the moment, um, sorry. If if somebody had like some examples of like if I'm looking at this product, because uh, we do have like the related items at the bottom, right? But it's not like like Holly mentioned, it's powered by something that you're not exactly what you're asking for. So if somebody could put together like, hey, like when I'm looking at this item, this is like a related item that I would really love to see below it, but I don't see that here today. Related items are great, but the problem with related items is that they only show the related items that you've already created and very few people go back through their history and update their related items. So, uh, you know, for me, everything was nails in flair at one point and then suddenly it's holdables. So my related items are now just my most recent holdables and, you know, three years from now that might, it, it ages out. So it would be nice if somehow that was more organic rather than us actually uh, picking a specific item. But even if it was only our items, maybe they could work off keywords. I agree that there are a lot of ways to work on that and uh, I think it'd be really cool if we're able to do that. Um, it's a timing and fitting it in thing, but um, absolutely it is a something that we've started to talk about. To ask what what is ever going to happen with the the related to a product section in the marketplace listing at the top above the title and everything there's there was a section there that looked like it was going to be that you could actually link it to a body a head a, a car or a furry avatar that you're making a mod skins for, but it never actually did anything, and yet it's still there. But we can't actually put anything in there. What is that? What is it meant to be, and what is it? Is it ever going to actually be anything? I like the idea of linking things together related to like body types and stuff like you mentioned. We're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to go back and look at that section that you're talking about to remind ourselves, but we have definitely talked about uh, being able to use where uh, merchant tags what body type something works with uh, in search so that you'll be able to filter to just whatever body type um, it is that you're excited about. 
enhanced filter system would be amazing. And uh, Victoria, you said you like using the related items to, like if you've got a blue shirt, you want to show the green shirt and the red shirt too. Uh, styles is a thing that we've got designs for and we want to get to uh, before the, I don't know, before we all turn old. Um, but that would work kind of like, uh, you know, on uh, other virtual market or other marketplaces you see online where it shows you the different style of the same item. Uh, why would you want to have certain notifications and not other notifications for products in your store? Is it just like certain products when they get sold require like more customer service or something like that you need to be notified because of? That was, okay. That, make, that makes perfect sense. Oh, speaking of dollabies and freebies, was there any um, change to what we discussed in the last meeting about people, um, I think, actually, sorry, it wasn't this meeting because you missed a meeting. It was actually done in the content creators group. I actually asked um, something and it came up that Veer didn't actually know that uh, you can't gift um, a, a, a freebie. So if something is zero L, you can't actually gift it. And we were ex and we were explaining that that controlled a lot of people making things one L so that they could be gifted. Uh, and he didn't know why it was that that you can't. Um, and we were explaining how it's really beneficial to be able to gift zero L items such as demos because you might want to send it to your alt while you're looking at the page to have to be able to try it on when you log back in. You might be wanting to send it to your friend and say, oh my God, you need this item, et cetera, et cetera, but you can't. So you have to send them a link and then they have to do it, et cetera. Um, it would make for, for a very convenient. Also, people making their item 1L means that they end up in the best sellers page knocking people out that are genuinely making proper sales at proper prices. I can't, I can't say this. It's, there's, a, there's no such thing as a proper price or anything. Uh, sassy. Sorry, okay. sorry like you can sell, you, you can sell at any price. Hold you on. Want. I I understand that, but best selling, if if best selling categories is a category of importance to people, and the items are getting in there because they're one L, it knocks everybody off pages. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be a terrible person. I'm just saying it was just a figure of speech. I apologize. I want to say the original reasoning was for spamming or griefing or something. Maybe introduced like a slight cost to it to make it expensive. I, I swear a, 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 a ticket came across my desk about this that we t discussed with the product team, but I can't remember exactly. I'm actually trying to see if I can pull it up now. They did think that too, but we sort of we sort of came to the conclusion that that was a very 2007 eight kind of world and not a 2024 kind of world because you've put implementations in place to not allow for spam drops on people's avatars and things like that, where we didn't have those before. So we're just thinking that it it's something that was never revisited. Yeah, I did find that. I, so we do have this logged in here. That's, that's a great one. Oh, Tom, that's a great idea. It's just that it really does sort of put a a pause in, in, in the flow of things if things are zero L or if people are charging one L because they want it to be giftable, not because they want to make the one L. 
because some people charge 1L for demos and they're not trying to take your money. They're just trying to make it more possible to move around. Sure, yeah. And I've also heard, like, you might have an item that you don't act, you're not actually planning on making a lot of money on. You just want people to have it, but you don't want it to get drowned out in the zero Linden items. Right. So, and, and then also, uh, it, 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 it does change how things come up in search and things like that. The other one was that, uh, it, it shouldn't be called free or a gift if it is one L because that doesn't make sense. It's a great idea, lovely. There is actually an area at the Welcome Hub that is more closed than the Senra folders actually contain that are made for Senra, but they haven't opened it up to other residents yet. But I think that that's their plan eventually. I like the idea of uh, making it so you can only accept gifts from people who are your friends. Did Would anybody feel like they get gifted items from someone they're not friends with? I think that was just for the zero L section part though. I don't think you'd want to limit that for friends. Correct. Overall. Yeah. For for zero L items, absolutely. That's a great limitation, but not for regular uh, things because there's a whole community that relies on the gifts of strangers. Yeah, I think um, y'all had talked about you would love to have a like a wish list kind of a list of all of the stuff you recommended for newbies, like your male newbie starter pack, your female newbie starter pack, and occasionally you'd want to be able to gift or at least send it to somebody to buy for themselves, right? Yes, old bees used to always have folders like that that we used to pass around back in the olden days. That would be really cool to be able to do that. Share the wish, yes, yeah, share the wish list link and say, have at it. Actually, that would be amazing because that would tie into uh, what Sukabana said. I hope I said that right. Um, that would be a really interesting thing for blogging too. You could actually put together the list of the items that are you're featuring in your post and then do a link to that list and then people can add it to their cart. So that could tie in with that proposal from earlier. Or just n no affiliation needed, you're just providing that list. All the websites are game to bring up. I've seen a couple of comments in the chat about um, finding ways to hide free items or one Linden items from search. Um, is there any tricks or ways people do that right now? That, or is it something that you have a pretty much, a, you're pretty much stuck viewing? I do you can just search by two Lindens plus for the price range. Is there any other way people are doing it? I'm just curious like what, how people are using it. That no demos button was helpful, but that seems to have been overridden somehow. We did talk in the past also about you making it that demos are not a listing. A demo is a demo listing. We talked about that demos should actually be a category, not a 
not a you just putting the word demo there. It should be something that you check mark to say this is a demo, no matter what. Okay, would, so I'm, I'm seeing no demos to... plus 2L or 2Linden is a, a common strategy. Right, it could do all those little tricks that make it very clear that it's a demo without you ha having to put in all the information that it's a demo. It would just be a demo. So then I somebody, think if they demo is already a category. Uh, no, you just type demo. No, I mean, like, in, when you list your product, like it's a women's t-shirt or whatever, I'm pretty sure there's a category now that is for demos, but I don't think a lot of people actually categorize their product like that. Yeah, you might want to check. I'm pretty sure I saw it. It could be gone now. I don't know. I don't have it because when you choose, the only thing that you've got for category is to put it in the category of the item. So you'd want to put it in women's clothing, T-shirt thing. But if you're saying that then you'd have to put it in women's T-shirt demo, I'm not, I'm not sure that, I mean, you could be right. I've never gone that absolute route. I'm typing it in. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in my marketplace. Things have definitely been changing often. It's not coming up for me. I've I've got that thing open right now, and I've typed in demo, and it's not it's not giving me anything. Um, it might be a subcategory, but, it should but be I don't just think a, so. Yeah, yeah it should just be no a checkbox. Yeah, it should be just something at the top that you just click on and then that just grays out everything else. There would be no reason to put in a price. There would be no reason to, you know, as you said, the the image could have some kind of an effect over it, like a filter over it, that it creates an image for it to be understood as a demo. Then that means you could actually go to Marketplace and click Demos Newest First. That would be so much fun, <laughs> finding new and exciting items. I think at items. least for the thumbnail it could gray it out um since most people do that anyways and then when you actually click the demo listing the main image is full color because that's one thing i never really liked uh since we manually have to change the color of the image uh you kind of mm -hmm. miss out on seeing the full advertisement and like full fidelity so i think right. um at least for the small thumbnail as you see it on the main like search pages could be grayed out you go to the main listing and it's full color that would probably be better to do on on the web end right and it would also actually help people understand what what they're clicking on and you know if somebody accidentally it could stop accidental listings accidentally putting the wrong price on something because demo would be its own area yeah i'm not saying it anymore either um, but I agree a checkbox would definitely be the better way to go than its own category. Right, because it could just be, because then you could just make a skew for demos, which could, you know, just automatically punch in all the, all the parts. Um, speaking of thumbnails, I've brought this up before and I'd like to just go back into it again. When you go to search um, a a brand on marketplace uh merchant stores sorry and you bring up their store there's usually i think it's six or eight thumbnails that show we have no control over what shows so if you're like us antiquated stores you're showing not your best work it's not what they're seeing um so you know you could have sold um a, gardening tools and now you're selling buildings but it'll only show gardening to tools or or you could have sold clothing and now you sell, sell you know furniture it it's it's not fair that we can't choose what thumbnails go there to represent the brand or why it doesn't show the logo of the store honestly that too i think that should yeah. also be branding cuz yeah like i my store name I was the only one with it for a few years and then in t let's see I think I started in 2017 and made that name in 2018 
and someone came along in like 2020 and people are always tagging me <laughs> wrong um because for a long time i was only on marketplace and they're also on marketplace it, it gets confusing at least the logo should show if nothing else because that would help people identify which you is you. It shows your top four best selling? Really? Hey, what was the uh, name of the store? I just want to do a quick search and take a look at oh, it too. Mercurial? Here, I'll type it in chat. Is that, is that new? Because mine is suddenly changed to different things, whereas mine just sat the same things for years, and so did other people. But... Best selling is not necessarily also um, great work. I mean, you've got older residents that 10 years ago could have sold 17,000 of one item and now they might be lucky if they're selling 1,000 of an item. So I wouldn't want the 17,000 item sell it showing if it's a sculpty and a prim or something if that's not what you do now. No, we're just talking about the thumbnails um, that show when you search merchant or brand. It, it's just a representation of your store. Yeah. Hey, I just want to make sure I'm understanding this correctly. When you say when you're searching merchant, we're talking about like the merchant tab, right? Yeah. Yeah. The and how it displays like the four thumbnails yeah. next to the name. Yeah. And then like you yeah. have the issue where uh, it can be multiple people's names that show up there. Correct. So, so um, as... Uh, a Katerin said, sorry if I didn't say that right, um, that uh, we should have our logos there um, just like they do on our pages. So our logo should be there to, to identify that this flare and that flare are not the same flare, etc. So somebody's going to recognize your logo if they already shop at you. And then the thumbnail should be something that you can pick. You should be allowed to decide what those four pictures are. So um, I've got a question. How do people normally find someone's store if they don't have a direct link to it? I, somebody the other day told me they literally just Google their name. I use, um, I type, like, mention tab. It depends on if I want to shop in world or marketplace, but generally I use some mixture of Google or social media. Usually just if I know the name of the store, I search it up with second life and nine times out of ten i'll find it either on marketplace Flickr, or some other social media no profiles in the world i haven't heard that one before yeah that's another one if you know like their username by any i don't profile I don't is username. is probably the majority syntax because most people will just right click an item that they see somewhere or if they're using a what is she wearing HUD it will show the creator's profile not their store so then you go to this store from their profile and that's why it's really important to update your profile I honestly think uh I know there was a tab that was removed like I think there should be some tab equivalent like of like socials and it lets you just do some custom links without having to manually embed it because sometimes those embeds get removed if you like edit anything else on your quick description or your pics or anything it's a little frustrating um why did that go why did the web tab get removed that was like so well utilized by so many people I think they said it wasn't, and that's why it was removed. In my experience, yeah, how a could, lot of How could they know it wasn't? Out. I used it daily, sometimes hourly. That one predates me, so I'd have to ask, but... So it's it was... Me. Oh, yeah, it would predate you, but yeah, it was only last year, I think, that they removed it. What, what, what was it again? It's. I'm not talking about the one that showed... Uh, we like so it was a tab that you could actually put a link to your marketplace store your website so your blog uh on there but it was also the one that contained information like i like to script i like to build i speak oh, the these languages that's what it was called interests yeah 
So, oh, so yeah, interest so, is in my in web profiles, and they didn't they didn't pick it up in the in world the native profiles yet. That's that's why. Yeah. So for me, doing customer service for like eighteen years here, I used it all the time because sometimes it would help me understand that a customer I was I was about to help might not speak English as a first language. It would help me, uh, you know, understand that maybe I could use Google Translate just for my first connection with them and things like that. And it was so helpful. Yeah, I think it should have at least been integrated into the main tab because stuff like, you know, if you speak multiple languages um, or if you're a scripter or mesher or whatever, that stuff is like, to me, that feels like it should be like, first introduction to be fair though right a lot of people just don't look at profiles and that kind of irritates me because i put a lot of info about myself in my profile and people come and ask me stuff and it's like did you look <laughs> so it's it's kind of a double-edged sword it's just like it's nice to have it but if people aren't using it then mm. some people don't even well that's the thing i don't know stuff, where so. where the misconception that nobody was using it came from because it seems that everybody was using it and I mean, I put random things um, in other places just because we don't have things like, and somebody IM'd me, I had said hello to them because that's, I'm just weird like that. I'll land somewhere and say hi to everybody. Um, and when I teleported away, they IM'd me to say thank you because in my profile in the first live section, I actually had the uh, control alt f1 to hide ui and alt shift h to hide huds and they just to remind myself as well and they thanked me because they didn't know that and now they were going to use that going forward so those sorts of things matter to people so interests being taken away was weird I thought um, you meant how we used to show merchants when searching things that aren't the merchant tab. Uh, like you just use product search. Right. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm also, I keep saying I'm old. I'm old school. I still go by people's names, not their brands a lot of the time when I'm searching for things. So yeah, the merchant tab used to be like my main if we're talking marketplace in world same <laughs> name i think now like the speaking i guess as a relatively newer user i've been on here six years or so i usually go by people's display names so it's easier to remember a brand name um than it is to remember a username um, and sure, display yeah. names don't typically work for search, so. They turned display names on when I became a mentor. I had specifically kept it off the whole time because it, I, again, uh, it's not against not wanting to, to use people's names how they wish to be spoken to, but my whole world was support tickets and vending systems and stuff and display names don't come into that. So keeping proper records of interactions needed to be based on legacy names. That's fair. Right, it's just, yeah, you don't want to be rude. It's just that if everything's behind the scenes, that's how your brain functions. And the fact that somebody can change their name means you just can't find them. Now with being able to purchase names, this is the first year I've had to do it, but I've asked for people to apply for Hairfair with their user key as well, just because last year I had people change their name during between ap applying and actual setup, and I just couldn't find people. Okay, yeah, now I see. So when you're looking at the merchants tab, it has the name and then it says sold by and then like a username. I actually had to um, teach a creator the other day that uh, they needed to add their brand to the merchant page as well. They didn't know that. So uh, 
that was something I brought up in the meeting of how I couldn't find people because it was only showing some things, but then I had to go back and help um, that merchant do that. I think that we tend to to do a lot of, oh, it was mentioned at one point and then we never re-mention it again. So people get lost in that shift. You know, they're finding it harder to learn things. I think a marketplace to do or how to do um, information page would be great for 2024. back to the the og web tab where you I, i'm reading in the chat and it says you could put in any link you wanted and it would all auto load when you open the tab what, what did you mean by that they're talking about in viewer stuff syntax oh, okay that there's a you can open like a, a web floater in the viewer and go wherever you wanted i think we turned that off because we don't know we don't want to cause a security hole for people. Right, now you can only was... go to Second Life Properties. There is an option yeah, to sounds... turn it on, at least in Firestorm. I don't know if it actually works or not. I've never lit, though. I don't like the in-world. Um, yeah, to win same. It freaks me out. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's it's only really good for a marketplace. Everything else is, eh, you know, <laughs> it doesn't work very well sometimes. Well, it also had a lot of issues with being able to navigate. I know E2V, that vending system, uh, you couldn't actually do re-deliveries if you tried to open the page in World in that viewer. You actually had to go outside of SL to open it up. Um, and then if you had pop-up blockers and stuff. So so it, it, it was, you know, problematic in that sense. Raven, I think that the, that free uh, page will, um, like after you buy something, that is filtered based on your current settings. I could be wrong. I've noticed the amount of content on there, but... You know, with me wearing Reborn, I kind of have to almost exclusively shop in the with the adult section on. <laughs> I, got, I got a question for something that was in chat. Um, it says we should have a dedicated marketplace field on our profiles. What, what would you imagine that looks like? Maybe just a little button under your profile picture that says, check me out on Marketplace or something like that. Something real simple. And it a store opens tab, up the so we're not using pics. Is that what you mean? That would be great. I think that might be what they mean. Yeah, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. It just would link to whatever your account is. Or I guess theoretically, you could have it be something you enter. Um, that way, for people who don't use Marketplace, they don't have to fill that in. Um, some people just make their marketplace to reserve the name, uh, but other people don't use it at all. Like, never understood that. But see, I think it's a, a really good idea to have it as a button because yes, we do we do uh, add links and everything to our marketplace. People have been using Linktree lately because the characters run out. You know, you only have so much space. In your profile to add things and as as more things get added you need to sort of short link that or link tree that but having an actual dedicated marketplace button that you opt in for would mean that people would be less cautious about clicking on a link that they really don't know where that link goes until they click it because it's just a link somebody's put in their profile it could be anything especially if you use the square bracket to shorten it into just saying marketplace or just saying you know flicker doesn't mean it's actually going to go there so um a, a dedicated 
this is Linden Lab approved marketplace. This will only go to their store. It can't go anywhere else. Would be nice. I'm just thinking back to some of the stuff we said earlier, if it could go to your store if you were a merchant or if it could go to your wish list, if you wanted to share your wish list with people, that could be interesting too. Yeah. I feel like we just need link tree within profiles. That's what this sounds like. <laughs> Cause I have a million links on my link tree. Like if I could just have them on my profile and just enter the links and boom, it's there as buttons, that would be great. Right, so idea. like we would have buttons up the top and then you would drag them down and then they would go to the places that you designate, but they would be official links. Right, I could put my Instagram, my Flickr, Tumblr, whatever else I use for blogging, and then also my marketplace, my social media for my store, things like that. That would be really, because as, as much as people are like, oh, everyone puts links in their profiles, yes, we do, but they like, if I make any simple change to my profile, those links will go poof and just turn into plain text. And that's very annoying because setting up those links is a little, it's it's a little tedious. Um, and not everyone even knows how to do that. And it, finding information on doing little things like that is a little annoying. And that's coming from me. I learned a lot in a short period of time. There are people who have been on this game double the time I have who don't know how to do simple, like, building things. So, like, you know, we got to have some grace for people. If we can make it streamlined as much as possible, we should. I do like a marketplace button. The wish list one is extra and the other things are would be you inputting but at least the marketplace would be assigned to us as a user there's no there's no manipulation possible there i think it's a really good idea security wise too i think it's really nice what is the current character limit on profiles i actually don't know oh i have no clue is it is it really small 1024 It's like, is it only 256? That seems low. 256 seems really small. Might be 512. I know I know notices is is um I think it's 512 characters. I think it also includes line breaks as well and some of us like to format our profiles so you know it's a little we saw some uh, feedback on the canny feedback thing today about uh, a lot of different places people would like to be able to use Markdown, and I don't disagree at all. The thing about actually that with profiles is that when you do it, like, the way to make it a little bit cleaner with the brackets and all of that. I do it in notices as well. If you look at my profile, it's, you know, bracketed to just be singular words. But as the person that does it, you can't see that you've done it correctly. You have to log in and alt, <laughs> then have a look at your own profile to see that you did it right. I and, think that uh, depends on what viewer you use because I can view my profile I mean, I, I more recently was using Firestorm. I don't know if that's, I'm on Alchemy now, but I can, it briefly like, uh, f like flickers it to a, um, like a standard view. Um, it's only temporary. Once you click in that box again, it'll pop up again as you're editing it. But yeah, it, I think it just depends on what viewer you're using. Okay. Well, with, with the regular one and, and Firestorm though, like I said, well, yeah, either way, it'd be nice if you could toggle something that let you see the hyperlinks as hyperlinks, not the way you've typed it in so that you know that it's actually working. Uh, so we're at time, but I do want to say that I, I sorry that I missed the last meeting. Um, we actually had a summit for people in the product team where we all went out to the Second Life headquarters. So I got to see the headquarters, which was a lot of fun, but I did miss seeing all of you. Um, I do hope to have this meeting more often. Um, I'm very close to getting this to being bi-weekly. 
I, I'm sorry if I couldn't get to you in the chat. I haven't had this many people in one of my user group meetings before, but I do hope you all come back. That would make me really happy. Uh, feel free to always message me in World or drop me a note card too. Thanks, everybody.